Recently, the Cato, the Beta, and the Berg dragged their riders out for a full ride. We had a great time, and I thought I'd share some of it with you now. You've got to take the opportunity when you're with friends to challenge yourself. And with a few warm words of encouragement, up I go. It's a lot steeper than it seems though, and there is a nasty little rocky shelf right at the top. Had me off a few times. Of course, I walk it before I ride it, every time. But not Ryan. His form of reconnaissance is just to ride the damn thing. But having got myself up without touching down, I was kind of chuffed to see the old master touch down a couple of times. But my superiority didn't last very long. Ryan went down and breezed up it, wheeling right before the rocky outcrop. And despite a recent back operation, Andy's starting to get the hang of that little beta cross trainer. I'm loving these little bike trails in the VIU lands. And thanks to the local logging company for putting up yet another gate, this time at Cottle Lake. We've been forced to find alternative routes to get to where we want to go. Oh, thanks, what? guys. <laughs> Just go right up there. And if it wasn't for the logging company, we never would have met these two guys coming the other way on yet another alternative around a tank trap or gate route. So thanks again, Logging Co. Ryan's Kato has a duff battery, and the kickstart gets a little, well, challenging. So why not bomb start? I've been watching those Aussie vids, practicing my enduro cross technique, and I was really pleased with myself for stopping, turning, and balancing without a foot down on this hilltop. One of us usually comes back from a ride with a new nickname, and I think in this case, Ryan should be Rooster. So thanks to Cato, Vita, and Bergen for dragging us out on this day. It was an absolute blast. And when your bike brings you to somewhere like this, you've got to ask yourself, what are you waiting for? Get out there! <laughs>